This one could be dangerous. On Friday, the families of the students that were killed in the Uvalde school shooting in Texas filed numerous wrongful death lawsuits in Texas and in California. The lawsuits are targeting Daniel Defense, Meta Platforms, the owner of Instagram, and Activision, the maker of Call of Duty. Now, the lawsuits were filed on the anniversary of the shooting by attorney Josh, Josh Koskoff, who's the same attorney who successfully sued Remington for a ton of money after the Sandy Hook Elementary School shooting. Before you, I tell you what this attorney said, I want to first thank the sponsor of the video, and that's Lear Capital. Guys, you've heard me talking about precious metals and telling you the experts were calling for record high gold. It's here. Gold is still over $2,300 an ounce. Will it stop there? Nobody knows. But as long as the inflation keeps going up, so will the cost of gold. Uh, silver's rising as well. I bought my gold and silver last year from Lear Capital. I'm up way over 21% on my purchase. Uh, the, it's pretty clear, guys. As long as this government keeps printing money, the dollar's value is going to keep dropping. And it's uh, down over 24% since 2020. So every buck in our wallet is worth less. That's why I buy gold and silver. Holds value and it can go up. Uh, buy some gold and silver now. It's not too late. Call my friends at Lear Capital. It's 1-800-260-5075 or go to leargg.com. Ask for their free information. Ask if they still have that $3,200 an ounce gold report I've been telling you about as well. It's a good read. Give them that call today. 1-800-260-5075. Again, 1-800-260-5075 or Lear gg.com. Thanks to Lear Capital. All right, so attorney Koskoff said this, quote, there is a direct line between the conduct of these companies and the Uvalde shooting. This three-headed monster knowingly exposed him to the weapon, conditioned him to see it as a tool to solve his problems, and trained him to use it. Now this comes after families of the victims back in May of the shooting in May 22 in Buffalo, New York at the supermarket, uh, those families sued social media companies, including Meta and Instagram, over content on their platforms. A lawsuit against uh, Daniel Defense, they're based out of Georgia, but the lawsuit was filed in Texas by 19 families, while the lawsuit against Instagram and uh, Activision Call of Duty were filed in California with additional families of victims from the attack on that lawsuit. A $500 million lawsuit was also filed against certain departments of Texas law enforcement over their response to the shooting, particularly law enforcement's delay in confronting the shooter to end the attack. Now, according to these lawsuits, the Uvalde shooter had played several versions of Call of Duty since he was 15, including the one that allowed him to effectively practice with the version of the Daniel Defense rifle that he used at the school. Now, the families also accused Instagram of doing little to enforce their rules that ban marketing of firearms and harmful content to children. According to the lawsuits, the Uvalde shooter opened an online account with Daniel Defense before his 18th birthday and purchased the rifle as soon as he could. And in a statement, the family said, quote, Simultaneously, on Instagram, the shooter was being courted through explicit, aggressive marketing, in addition to hundreds of images depicting and venerating the thrill of combat, Daniel Defense used Instagram to extol the illegal, murderous use of its weapons. A separate lawsuit filed by different plaintiffs in December of 2022 against local and state police, the city, of Uvalde and other school law enforcement, that seeks at least 27 billion, with a B, 27 billion. And they also are looking for class action status for the survivors. Now, at least two other lawsuits have also been filed against Daniel Defense. It's, it's not good. Um, now I'm going to say this, uh, and after everything I said there, firearms manufacturers make an inanimate object. A criminal uses a tool to inflict harm on others. It is not the tool's fault. It is not the tool's fault. Uh, and, and tool makers should never be held responsible for the actions of a criminal. We need to stop vilifying guns. Guns are not the problem. It's your kids if they're the ones who go and do the crime. It's your baby daddies. It's your brothers. Your moms, if they're criminals, your dads, or maybe even you, 
if you're watching this, if you're a criminal, the problem is with your, your actions, not the tool that you use. It's, it's insane for me to think that we protect the insane and go after inanimate objects. Just does not make sense to me. But this lawsuit could be very, very bad for the community. Just like the Remington was, the Remington lawsuit was. And for those who have been on this channel watching for years, when I announced the, the, the settlement, and the terms of that settlement, and how much money was doled out, I said then it was a bad precedent to set. I understand why it was done. The insurance companies did what insurance companies do, but it was a bad precedent because it was a violation of the PLCAA. And they, I, I, not my company's not my business. You know, outside looking in, you prefer a different result. And we've seen that precedent rear its ugly head in Buffalo, Uvalde, other places as well. And it's not gonna stop there. So just wanted you to have this information to let you know that everybody's blaming Instagram. Everybody's blaming Daniel Defense and they didn't do it. They are not the ones who picked the gun up and decided to murder kids. I will say that the lawsuit against the failed response by those 400, almost 400 uh, cops that were there, 300 and whatever it was, 359 cops, I fully support that lawsuit. And the qualified immunity should be stripped for sitting there and playing, you know, selfies or playing with hand sanitizer when kids were getting assassinated. That lawsuit I support. What say you? Guys and gals, if you are into Second Amendment news, no matter where it happens in this country, good, bad, ugly, or indifferent, you found your home. Guns and Gadgets will bring you that information every single day. Good, bad, ugly, or indifferent, guys. Well, no matter where it happens, I will bring it to you. So help the channel get the information out by hitting the subscribe button down below. Like the video, share it, toggle the bell notification on to all notifications. Takes a couple seconds to do that and gets it through the Second Amendment hating algorithm. And I appreciate you for helping. Have a phenomenal day. Take care.